The Helmi Air Egypt was the creation of Salah Helmi, a young Egyptian living in Maidenhead, Berkshire. Helmi was a graduate of London University and was training to become a doctor, but unfortunately he caught the flying bug. The Air Egypt, with its 322 horsepower Sprite engines, was a quarter scale prototype of a much larger machine Helmi proposed to build in his native land. The unique feature of the aircraft was the Helmi flap. This high lift device, patented by the designer, hinged up into the airflow to provide extra lift at low speed. The aircraft was built at Helmi's home in Maidenhead. When completed, registered in the name of his fiancée, Miss Dorothy Arkell. It was moved to Heston for flight testing. The first flight took place in February 1939, with the designer and builder at the controls. Unfortunately, things didn't quite always go to plan. Salah Helmi had learned to fly in the autumn of 1938. By the time he took the Aerogypt on its maiden flight, it barely logged 15 hours total time. As a point of fact, his fiancée, Miss Arkell, had logged about 30 hours. Unperturbed, Helmi repaired the Aerogypt, removing the Helmi flap, which was mechanically quite impossible and probably never used at all, and christening the aircraft the Mark II. Further flight testing revealed lateral instability, which was cured by fitting auxiliary fins to the tailplane. Of course, this was the Mark III, and test flying continued until September 1940. In the same month, Salah Helmi was commissioned into the technical branch of the Royal Air Force. Being a citizen of a neutral country, Egypt being occupied by the British, but not officially at war with either side, Helmi was given permission to continue developing his aircraft, he moved the aircraft to White Waltham, where Dorothy, now Mrs. Helmy, worked in a non-flying role for the Air Transport Auxiliary. Tricycle undercarriage was fitted, and the three Sprite Aero engines were replaced by a pair of Continental A65s. A small propeller was retained on the nose, but only to drive an air-driven generator. Ownership of the aircraft was transferred to the optimistically named Aerogypt High Speed Development Company Limited. Helmi, seen here in his aircraft, wisely decided not to carry out the test flying. He entrusted it to Ralph Snagger Henderson, chief test pilot of the Air Transport Auxiliary. This test flying wasn't without incident either. Excessive undercarriage travel caused the broken propeller seen here, but by the end of 1946, the aircraft had a limited certificate of airworthiness and Mr. and Mrs. Helmy prepared for a flight from London to Egypt. The first sector of the journey to Egypt was short, merely the 15 miles from White Waltham to North Holt, to clear customs. Unfortunately, with Salah Helmy flying, he caught a wire on the perimeter fence and the aircraft landed heavily. To add insult to injury, whilst being recovered by crane, the aircraft was dropped 10 feet to the ground. The aircraft was too badly damaged to be repaired. It was recovered to a garden near Maidenhead and for the next 20 years served as a chicken house. It had disappeared by the late 1960s. Thank you for watching.